hi lovely people welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we're going to be recreating this really cute mini skirt with this tiny slit in front so i actually made this for a friend and it came out looking so nice i decided to make one for myself and show it to you guys so we're going to be making it together so to make this i'm using my basic skirt pattern i have a video on my channel showing how to draft this i will use this fresh pattern paper because i'm going to be transferring this onto fresh pattern paper and making the necessary adjustments then i'm using this fabric the same fabric i used for that one but the reason why this fabric is here is because so i'm thinking of using this as a top for this skirt i don't know um, i wanted to get you guys opinion so let me know what you think i think the two prints would match really beautifully and i think this would make a really nice top for this really short cute skirt and i actually bought this for another project i can't wait to share it with you guys but yes it is um, i'm going to be using this to make a dress for the make that look 2020 challenge um it is being hosted by lisa from and so on and whitney from wit mix so i decided to hop on the challenge and i'll be using this fabric to make my look to make that look 2020 so we're going to use this lining fabric to line the inside of the skirt we're using this zipper because you need a zipper because you need to get in and out of your skirt i would also be needing a hook and eye for the band but i'm going to deal with that later i don't have that now i just want to get the skirt done and i'll be using this interfacing to fuse my waistband to make it thicker so i'll start by transferring this up to my desired length so i want it to be 14 inches so i'll transfer this up to my desired length on fresh pattern paper so i've transferred it onto fresh pattern paper i'm going to go ahead now and cut it out and explain some things to you guys so now remember this is a basic skirt pattern so it's not shaped but this is a shaped skirt it's a tight skirt so i need to go in and shape the lower part of this skirt but i also wanted to um show you guys something so i left i turned some of the material some of the fabric inside this skirt so i left an excess of two and a quarter inches down that will go in to give this kind of effect that we have here and the reason why i left two and a quarter inches is because two inches will actually go in but i'll use that quarter inch to join the fabric to the lining so that's why i left two and a quarter inch that's why i left the extra quarter inch down so two inches will go in like this then the quarter inch will be our seam allowance to join the fabric to the lining now before i shape this the lower part of this garment i'm going to fold it in otherwise it's not going to lay nicely when we're eventually joining so i need to fold it in so i'll fold it in at this two and quarter inch point that i marked here and i'll do the same thing for the back bear in mind that the side and the upper part of this pattern has sewing allowance so we don't need to worry about sewing allowance so i'll pin this together so it's not moving around and now i'll measure one inch in from the bottom and i'm going to connect this to the hip line that i drew here so i'll go with my straight ruler first but i'm going to go back with this to just give it a curved so that's much better now i'll cut it out and you guys will see why it was necessary to fold it in before cutting this out now you can see this slant here is why it was necessary to fold it before cutting it out so by the time we fold it inside it's just going to align properly but if i cut it straight and folded it inside then this upper part will be short so this is really important guys don't forget to do this next i'm going to go in now and remove my waistband so i want to have a shaped waistband so i'm just going to go in and remove so i want my waistband to be one and a half inches high but remember that this already has half an inch seam allowance so i'm going to remove two inches do you guys understand so i'll remove two inches and then i'll go ahead and add the half an inch seam allowance back so i've added the half an inch seam allowance back on here because we need the seam allowance to join our waistband back to our skirt piece i also did something at the back here so when you fold this this is where it's going to stop but remember we added a quarter inch seam allowance here so that means it should ideally stop about a quarter 
that is when it's sewn it's going to stop about a quarter here so my lining needs to stop here as well but i also need to add a quarter seam allowance to my lining to join it to the fabric so this is where my lining will stop because from this point here i measured half an inch down because the quarter inch that this one took up and then the remaining quarter inch that my lining will use to join to the fabric i hope you guys understand anyway from this point here that this stopped i measured half an inch down and this is where my lining will stop so by the time i join them together they will end nicely at this point that it actually needs to end at the middle point which is the quarter inch point here so i did the same for the front and the back and now it's almost time to cut i know it seems like there's a lot of preparation to do here so i'm going to close my dart now remember i have half an inch allowance up here already on my waistband because our skirt has half an inch allowance up here so my waistband is supposed to be one and a half inches long and this is two inches so i have half an inch allowance up here to join the front waistband to the waistband that will be on the inside but now i need half an inch seam allowance to actually join the waistband to the skirt so i'm going to before i add my half an inch seam allowance i'll close my dart on the front and the back piece so i'm going to do the same for the back i'll close the dart and then i'll place this on fresh pattern paper and just even out this line then add my half an inch seam allowance underneath so i'll do the same thing for the front and the back and i'm going to show you guys so you guys can understand better okay guys we're finally done with our pattern so this is the front waistband this is the back waistband so i'm going to cut this on fold i'm just going to label it and i'll cut two of this and then for this i'm going to cut four of this and two of it is going to have this extension here so if you notice i placed an extension here this will be for the button that um for the button at the back so i'm going to cut two of this just this way i'll fold it over cut two and cut the remaining two with this extension that's basically the extension here so for this i'm still gonna have a um, hook and eye here but i don't have that yet which is why i just pinned this down in place so yes this extension here is what i have here so it's time to cut i'll go ahead now fold my fabric and cut this out so to cut the lining i'm just gonna fold the pattern piece up to this this point that we marked here i'll do the same for the front and cut the lining piece out so i've cut all my pieces i've cut my lining piece and my main fabric i've cut my waistband and i've used interfacing onto it so it's time to sew the sewing process is actually really easy and straightforward so i'm going to grab my sewing machine and we can start sewing so I will start by sewing all my darts. I already transferred them. I notched them and put a pin in the point where the darts will end. I find this is really easy. So I'm going to sew my darts on all the pieces. So on my lining and on my fabric, front and back. I will do that now. Now, after joining all the darts, after sewing all the darts, we need you need to decide what part of your body you want your sleeves to be. I personally favor the right, the left part so this is the left part of my skirt now what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold it from this that point all the way to the down all the way to the bottom now you remember that two and a half inches every two and a quarter inches here is going to go inward so from this point is going to go back up into our skirt so now i need to decide how the I want my slits to be or how long I want my slits to be. I'm going to go I'm going to go with two and three quarter inches. So I'm just going to mark that here. And then I'm going to mark one inch from down here. Same one inch here. And then just clear, I hope it's clear what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go in like this. And I'll curve my hand up here and just create like a small, can you see? So that it can have that open like slit effect that I want. So by the time I open it down now, you can see. And this is it. So I'll go ahead and just, I'll place my lining this way. 
so this is all i need to take away from my lining but this is so negligible that i'm going to leave it and trim it when i'm done sewing so to start i'm going to place this at the bottom here so i'll sew this way and then i'll sew from the edge here so i'll sew this end from this edge and sew this end from this edge so i've sewn it at the bottom now i'm going to pull my lining up to my waistline here so i'll pull my lining up to my waist point i'm just going to pin it in place so it doesn't move then can you see this is still right side touching ideally i should have done exactly the same thing i did when i was cutting the sides before i cut the slit so you can see it's not matching so i'm going to go in with a slightly deeper slit so i folded it in now so you know i'm just gonna have to have a wider slit but that's fine yeah but you guys should not i want you guys to learn from my mistakes so so now what i'm just going to do is i'll mark where this slit ends here and i'll just have like a slightly different shape of slit so that by the time i'm closing that slit it's well balanced and it's just nicely done so before you guys cut your slit fold it in so i had to loosen these edges so i'm going to go back sew this back in and then we will now sew our slits together so my slit is just going to look slightly different but that's still okay i think i like this <laughs> so now I'll pin this up here right sides together and then i'll go ahead and sew around my slit i'll just sew with like a quarter inch sewing allowance so after sewing i'll go ahead and trim this triangle in the middle and now i'm going to show you guys our beautiful slit and this is our slit so as soon as we just give this a good press it's going to look really nice this is what it's going to look like on the inside so we just need to iron this down to make it even nicer i will go ahead and join the back together so next i'm going to join my center back with my one inch zip allowance just going to sew it all the way down i'll join my lining as well right sides together with the one inch allowance and now i'll use my lining to turn my back skirt as well so the same way i joined the front i'll join the hem of the lower i'll join the hem of the lining to the hem of the fabric so i'm using my quarter inch seam allowance now i'm going to drag it all the way up to the waist and just pin it down now i'll go ahead and iron this and one of the major reasons why i'm ironing it is so i can just have a defined hemline so i'll iron it iron all my seams as well and we will join the two the front and the back piece together so i've pressed it and before i go ahead to join the back to the front i will just join my zipper and now for the zipper i'm going to place it on the fabric alone not the lining not the fabric and the lining just the fabric and i'm just going to sew right sides together all the way down so i'll make sure i leave about half an inch up here so this is where the stopper is i'm going to leave about half an inch because i'll need to attach the waistband at the upper part so it's always important to make sure you leave this edge here at least half an inch of this edge up here so i've attached the zipper to the fabric only now i'm going to note where my zipper ends on my lining so which is about here yeah this point here you can actually do this before cutting the lining but i forgot so now from this point here i'm going to trim this one inch seam allowance i'm going to trim it to half an inch and the reason why i'm trimming it is so that the my is so that my lining would not be getting stuck in my zipper you know that annoying thing that happens sometimes so i'm trying to prevent it as much as possible so i'm just going to trim this by half an inch so i'm just going here this is a bit wobbly but that's fine now i'll open up this space here and now what we need to do is 
use this to basically close this seam so open it up like this i i'm going to use this to cover my zip so i'm just going to sew it in this way so i'm not going to start from this one inch here i'll start from like where my zip is which is about half an inch and then i will use this to cover my zip so by the time i open it all you're going to see is the zip you're not going to see this edge here so i'll do the same i'll do that for both sides and then i'll show you guys what it looks like so once you do this the inside is going to look like this and the outside is going to look so nice and neat look at this guys look at this i got a little bit impatient yes yeah? so ideally it should actually look better than this bulb it's mine so i'm just going to leave it like that and now on to the very last bit well the second to the last bit before we attach the waistband we are going to go ahead now and join fabric to fabric and lining to lining so i'm going to remove this what you'll do is you'll bring this down like this join it this way so i'll join the fabric to the fabric and then i will turn it this way i hope you guys can see what i'm doing and join the lining to the lining and then by the time we're done it's going to look neat on the inside and on the outside but if you don't want to do it this way if you just want to go ahead and sew it and then maybe interlock the sides you can also do that or you can use the you can just turn the front separately and turn the back separately and join them just like i did this one and i did this one this way because i've not seen my friend in a very long time and i don't trust her measurement that she took and she's currently in between sizes so even if she loses a bit of weight or if she has gained a bit of weight she can always at night i saw it twice on the inside so she can lose one out or leave it like this yes so you can do it this way since this is for me and i'm sure of my measurement i'm just going to go ahead and sew the fabric to the fabric and the lining to the lining so that by the time i'm done it's going to look neat and nice on the inside so guys our skirt is almost trendy this slip there hmm. but remember we said go big or go home so let's just leave it now it's time to fix the very last piece of the puzzle which is the waistband so to fix the waistband i'm going to take one piece of the front piece and then one piece of the back side piece that's the the side that is going to have the extension and one piece of the regular side piece the side that doesn't have the extension remember the back we cut two different pieces for the back now i'm going to sew this this way and sew this this way and then i will do the same thing for the second pieces so basically we are going to sew these two separately then we are going to join the two together now i will sew the side seams together so now i've joined the side seams of the waistband together so i'll go ahead now and join the top part together with the half inch seam allowance that we left so after joining it i'm going to clip my seams so that they turn easily so i'll clip my seam seams and then iron it down so here we are, I've ironed my band and now it's time to attach it. So this is the part with the excess and I want that on the right. Now I'm going to match my side seams together and I'm sewing right sides together. So I'm going to sew the right side of the band to the right side of the skirt. So I'll match my seams together this way. I'll match my notches because I notched my dart points. So the point where I closed the dart on the band, I notched that because I wanted that to serve as like a guideline for me. So now after pinning it together, I'm just going to I'll open my zip to make it easier. Before I start sewing, I'll go ahead and you can see where this ends here. So there was some excess here because remember we actually added space for zip allowance but we're not using that because the zip is already sewn in so i'm going to go ahead now and sew these edges together so we'll close this edge here and then we can now start sewing our band so i'll do it and show you guys so i've sewn this edge together so this this is what i was trying to explain just sew it down this way and then you turn it inside out 
and you can see the edge of our waistband at least one edge of the waistband is ready so now i'm going to sew this round you can see i already pinned it down so i'll sew it round now and show you guys the result so i'm done attaching the first half of the waistband and it looks so good so now this is the back here what i'm going to do is i'm going to finish off this edge as well and finish it up to this point here to where the zipper ends because we're going to unstitch the rest yes guys we're going to unstitch the rest so we have a nice neat finish all around so i'll just finish up this edge now now i'll just go ahead and use the remaining half inch of seam allowance i'll iron it down and then we will blind stitch this band to the lining so i'll iron it now and show you guys how we are going to blind stitch it and it is three days later so i finished all of this on friday but i just yeah i left it because i don't know if it's just me but when it gets to the point where you have to so like hand so certain things i just get lazy but anyway i decided to finish it up today so today is monday because i want to start some other projects so i'm just going to show you guys i real quick what i plan to do so i'm going to blind stitch the band to the line in so that we won't have anything showing on the other side and it's going to look neat on the inside as well so to blind stitch i'm simply so i tried in my my hand needle and you can see i tied just one end so i knotted just one end i knotted it a few times just to secure to make sure it doesn't pull through and i just threaded it about six to seven inches longer than my waistband so i can have enough to go around so i'll pick a few strands of my lining in this case my zipper because i'll start from this end just to make sure i secure every point of this waistband and then i hope you guys can see I'm going to go into my waistband just and go about one centimeter into inside the waistband and then come out this way so you guys can see and then I'll pick my lining And I just like to knot it as I'm doing it. So I'm just going to knot this. And that's it. So I'm going to do that. For the beginning, I'll go back again just to make sure these ends are really secure. And now I'll do the same round. So just pick my lining again. Pick my lining. Go into my waistband go about one centimeter inside it come out and that's it you can see so this is going to be hidden and we're going to have a neat waistband and you can't see anything on the outside <laughs> fun right just gonna remove this and keep going so i'm just gonna go through it one more time and do the rest of camera so i'll go into my waistband here so at this point where i stopped i'll go back inside take it in for about one centimeter and bring it out and then i'll pick my lining at this same point can you see so these are the ends that i've done you can see how nice it looks so i'll do the rest of camera and show you guys once i'm done so guys i'm done and this is the inner part of our skirt i burnt my lining <laughs> but yes this is it i hope you guys can see see how neat it looks i mean you can even wear this on the outside and no one will know you know this is the inner part of the skirt and this is it i'm going to wear it now for you guys to see so there's just one last step which is to put um oh can i i don't have that so i'm just gonna pin it down okay guys we're finally done with this skirt and this is what it looks like i didn't want to remove my gown so i just pulled it up a bit to show you guys so it's gonna have oh can i here it's actually really short oh god 
but my husband likes it i like it so you know and i just feel like um i would just wear like um panty holes underneath or leggings in the winter so that's fine but i really like it even though like remember this was a mistake it wasn't supposed to be this wide so if you guys are making yours and you don't want yours to be this wide take note of the correction that i made so yes this is it let me know what you guys think and yes i actually really really like it and i was gonna make it tighter but my husband said you know i feel like i've said my husband so many times and i know some of my friends be in the comment section saying eh, eh kill us with my husband but yes my husband said the appeal is in the length so it doesn't need to be so tight so i think i'm just gonna leave it this way i actually like it oh my god it's like i have an affinity for short things these days the shorter the more appealing it seems to me but this is it guys let me know what you think down below let me know if you like this skirt let me know if you'll be making if you'll be recreating this but maybe you'll make yours longer or even shorter you know go big or go home so that's it for today's tutorial see you guys in the next one and i'm going straight into another tutorial right now so i'm going to be making another skirt and i think you guys will really really want to see that not for me though for a friend but she has given me permission to wear it, to test it. So it's not going to be my exact size, but I'm going to wear it and show you guys what it looks like. So yes, you definitely want to see that next tutorial. So just make sure you subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you can see when I drop the very next one. See you guys. Bye.